Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do $1 Wednesday. I'm super excited because I feel like I've been on the struggle bus the last few days. So having something fun, game related, something with some savings challenges is going to bring my day a little bit more joy. Yes, I know there is a two in here. I'm actually going to swap this two out here in a minute, but we do have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen dollars. I know it's an odd number because I have six challenges in here, but <clears throat> it's okay. We're going to be rolling one dice at a time. We have six different $1 um, challenges to work on and I have my coffee here so we're gonna chit chat we're gonna we're gonna talk we're gonna drink coffee and we're gonna have a good time so and this is newer this binder so I have to weigh it down a little bit with some things so I'm gonna do that and roll the dice um, I'm going to switch this $2 bill out. I only have one $2 bill. I don't know where in the heck I got that $2 bill. I don't like them personally. If you like them, that's cool. Um, when I was a kid, these came out. And they were only at a local grocery store. And my dad would collect them. Like, specifically would go in for a donut and orange juice on... A weekend day with me um, when we would do something like that because I was rare <laughs> but like maybe once a month we would go out and have you know this donut and orange juice and um, he would collect the two dollar bills so, so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen we have fifteen dollars here um, I have been struggling really hard, you guys, um, on the financial front. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's been really hard. Um, gig working has been off and on. The new job that I got has been <laughs> interesting. So I have only worked one day since I got hired. I have three days this week. They are very short shifts, anywhere between four to five hours. So I'm going to try to sit down and talk to the manager and be like, hey, I'm an adult, a 34-year-old woman with a bunch of bills and I need more hours. Um, if she's willing to work with me getting a second job, I'm probably going to do that. But I just wanted to get my feet wet here first and see how it goes. Um, I have been applying for jobs remotely. I have been applying at banks, uh, retail places. I applied at the hospital in my area. Um, I applied, where else did I apply? I applied at a bakery. I applied at a lot of different places and I, I feel like maybe it's just not the time of year for people to hire, but that's kind of what I've been doing. I'm sticking to my guns. I am going to apply for things that I normally wouldn't apply for. You're probably also wondering, what happened to your nails? Where in the hell are they at? Yes, these are my my little tiny, I call them my little tiny man hands because they're, I have little square fingers. Um, but I had my nails taken off because I was not about to wait another month to get my nails done because everyone was booked out and two, I'm giving myself a break. So why am I trying to open things already? How about I, we're going to open these if they're not already open. I kind of, I wish I had the flappy envelopes for this big binder, but I don't know where to find those. I know everyone says Amazon, but I'm not finding it. I don't know. I just, me and Amazon aren't friends right now. I'm still really pissed off about my ink. So my ink exploded, just so you're aware. Uh, the blue and the green didn't really turn out very well. If you saw my, my previous video, then you know my ink printed things really shitty. 
So I am going to be getting a replacement, uh, replacement cartridges and I'm going to be sending this one back to Amazon. I'm going to go with the, the Canon, actual Canon ink the next time I go get ink online because I don't live near like a Walmart or anything like that. I live in a very tiny town. So I have to order my ink online. Three. So there's three. But I'm excited to get your guys' orders out. Ooh, six. And to start creating some things for my shop again. If you want to support my channel in any way, um, all of the savings challenge videos that I do, um, all that money that I get from Etsy is how I fund my savings challenges with a little bit of leftover money from my paycheck and, um, what else? Oh, recycling. This is recycling money. Um, I recycle bottles and cans. Um, I have been doing it forever and I just put the recycling towards something that I really want to do. And this is something we really want to do. We were like, you know what, instead of buying a video game for a kid or, um, a kid being one of our kids, obviously, and, um, and, um, or like buying something for ourselves, um, let's go ahead and, um, use it for savings challenges. So that's what we're doing. Some of these are going to have a specific home, um, these finished savings challenges, and some of them are going to have no home and I'm going to allocate it to towards whatever I want to. I'm going to take a sip of this because my mouth is dry. If you brought a drink to watch this, what are you drinking? What's your favorite drink? What What is your go-to? I like rainbow water. They're little packets of sugar-free flavoring. Um, I specifically like the cherry flavor one. It's the, I think it's Starburst. Starburst cherry. Um, I like that one. I also like this purple island tiki one. I don't know what the brand is on that one. Um, but I also drink a lot of coffee. We drink a lot of water. Um, but I do also like, um, Coca-Cola. I, I do like Coca-Cola. I do drink caffeine free coca-cola as well i can't have caffeine you guys so all of my coffee for the most part is decaf sometimes i need the caffeine and so i break the rules um it's a it's a health thing for me um i have a health condition so i have to be really careful on my diet and things as well and then i have three Man, which one of these is the blood sucker? Uh, one of these is always, always taking more than the other. Five. One, that was three. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one of these is always the blood sucker of the ones. Ah, that sucks. Here. Oh, five again. Look, it's a unicorn. Ibucks are really hard to find here. Um, I was originally going to do Reinventing Renee's uh, Ibucks challenge. I love her Ibucks. Or, did I just say Ibucks? Her Letterbox. Letterbox, Amanda. Letterbox. I was going to originally do that, but it's so hard for me to find some of them, you guys. I, I don't know. I don't know how you guys find some of them. I When I go to the bank and I'm like, I'm looking for this one, they're just like, um, we don't really care. <laughs> so that's how that goes. Um, I could get a bunch of $1 bills, but I'd have to get it in a hundred and I don't have a hundred dollars to put into I bucks or B bucks or C bucks or J bucks or F bucks. 
However, I thought about saving the specific letters for my kids, and then I realized I do a lot of really low income challenges, and that make it really difficult for me to be like, and now I need a J, and now I need an F, and now I need a J, and now I need an F. But I love her challenges. If you are interested in anything in her shop, I'm going to link her um, in the description as well as her Nerd Co. on, um, on Etsy. She is running a sale. She really, really wants to get a new pad, a new iPad for her business. And I think that we should definitely try to support her um, because everybody needs a little support sometimes, right? And she has some awesome stuff in her shop and she is hilarious. I absolutely love Renee. I, every time her video comes on, I'm literally, I don't know, Renee, what it is, but every time I'm I'm driving with my husband to the city, which takes about 45 minutes an hour, her videos pop up. And I'm like, dude, this is good timing. This is really good timing because I'm I'm not driving. I make him do the driving and I I watch and he drives. So that's how that goes. I also notice like there isn't a lot of really low income challenges out there. I love a lot of challenges, but I can't do some of them, guys. Like, I was talking to my husband. I'm like, I'm doing the 2024, $2,024 um, challenge for the year. And I feel like this is the struggle bus, man. Like, I only have four envelopes in here that I've stuffed. Um, and obviously it's not a race and it's only the second month, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling discouraged. Feeling discouraged. So, this one didn't get anything. That, that one didn't get anything. That's sad. Oh, well. So, we're gonna put some money in here. So, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's two colored, so we need to color three more. And I don't care. I'm doing rainbowy colors for these muffins. And probably for everything else, because why not? I love rainbow stuff. Um, I like rainbows because it, it brings me a lot of joy in thinking that, you know, there's some positivity out there. I like to be a very positive person if I can be. Um, I have lived with a lot of dread and Debbie Downer stuff and a lot of really big, heavy weighted stuff on my shoulders. So I try my best to be as positive as I can where I can. Um, we have a unfortunately of a leak in our roof, um, a few little leaks in our bedroom and we are trying to stay positive to keep moving forward to save towards that. So I think some of our game day money, most of our game day money, like shut the box, things like that, that's going to go straight into our um, house repairs envelope. So that one's been colored. This one got nothing, sad. And this one, why am I shutting these when I need them to be open? Come on, Amanda. So this one actually took a lot of the money. Yeah, another one. Another. Took it. I do love sunflowers as well. Um, I am excited, you guys. I don't care how little money I have. I am going to plant something in front of my house to make my house have some curb appeal. Um, my house is one of these, one of the smallest manufactured homes in this park. Um, but it's also hideous colored. It is all blue. Literally, the deck is blue, the door is blue, the light fixture outside for the um, porch lamp, that's all blue. Uh, the roof is, part of the roof is blue, the shed is blue. I have a pretty decent sized shed. I was like, dang, I don't have a lot of yard, but I have a pretty decent sized shed. But I'm going to put around the front, um, around our stairs, I'd like to do an arch, an archway. And I'm going to either get twisted, um, 
twisted uh, wood or I'm going to get like juniper wood or I'm going to get just a regular arch going on and we're going to uh, put twinkle lights, um, solar twinkle lights on that. And then we want to put flowers around the front and, you know, have our yard decor out. I did save some of my solar yard decor. I have these cute uh, little owls. They, they kind of look like they're excited, um, but they're just, they're happy little owls and they're blowing glass. I, I have had them for a really long time. Um, it was a gift to me from, you know, a family member. So I was excited to be able to bring that here. But I want to plant something in my front of my house. And I think sunflowers might be one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have four colored. So we need to color four more. Sorry if I'm a little tired. I haven't been sleeping well. I've been stressed out. Which is also why I've been really trying to pump out some videos because when I make videos for you guys, I stress less and I'm thinking of something else. So if you're bombarded by my videos, I'm very sorry. Um, watch what you will, watch what you want. Um, it just gives me something good to do, positive to do. All right. So this month is also shut the box month, which is also created by reinventing Renee. I know other people have it in their shop, but I'm doing her Valentine's Day edition and I am so excited. Literally, I was jumping up and down in the <laughs> kitchen going, I'm going to play shut the box sometime this week. Um, but yeah. All right. So these are almost colored. So there's our sunflowers. And I don't really count how many of these are on each one. Every one of these $1 challenges that I make, um, they do have different amounts on them. So that way you're not trying to finish all your challenges at once. So this one has three. I'm going to add three into this as I close it again. Do you see that, guys? <sighs> Amanda quit doing that. So we're going to color three. Where's my gold? Let's see. Gold, gold, gold. You know what? We're going to use silver. So ADHD, sometimes, you guys, I cannot color and talk at the same time. I try. I try my best. <laughs> Alright, so now this one has one, two, wow, I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Moving along. I might actually do these more than once a week, but this is just a Wednesday thing for now. And that's okay. This one, I am pretty sure I want to start putting this one into back to school. Um, I have a holiday binder here. And this binder... <laughs> I'm like, I, I know I'm forgetting something as I was making this and as I was doing, making the, um, the holiday, um, savings challenge book, which is here somewhere. Cause I, I have it somewhere. Where is it at? Oh, it's this one right here. So as I was making this challenge book for the year, I was like, gosh, Amanda, what are you missing? Yeah. I was missing back to school. Because I have to save for back to school, guys, and I'm going to start now. Because even though this school year is most of the way over, if you can believe that, we have, wah, things are falling. I'll just leave it there. So we have, um, what is it, February, March, April, May, June. 
so June like 6th or 9th is the last day of school. Um, so we really only have like three months, three solid months of school left. And I want to make sure by August I have all this saved. So one, two, three, and four is in here. And this has a lot of little crayons. I like it. I like that idea because, did I say four? Yeah. Because I want this to be as bulky as possible. And maybe I'll do one of these $1 challenges towards um, back to school every single time we put in new challenges. That way I'm always putting something towards back to school because school clothes, school supplies, that, that really kind of breaks your budget. And I don't know how much things are going to cost this year. I'm a little scared to know. <laughs> I'm like, don't look. It's okay. Don't look. It's like going to the grocery store anymore. I'm like, I told my husband, I'm like, I don't want to go to the store anymore. I don't want to look. All right. So we have two in the maple syrup. Love this maple syrup. If you're Canadian, can, can you tell me where do I buy really, really good maple syrup online from Canada? I want to know. Because I know it's not Amazon. I've tried. I've tried some different maple syrups and they just, they're, they're just not. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got two, that's right. They're just not the same. I've had real maple syrup a couple times in life, and I'm telling you, I now know why you guys put it in your coffee as a way to sweeten up your coffee, because it, it sounds amazing. I, I would do it. Put it in my grandpa coffee. All right, guys, so these are all allocated for. Let's see which one we think is gonna get finished first, so. I think it's either going to be the sunflowers. Ooh, coffees are pretty up there. I don't know. I think it's going to be maple syrups, coffees, or the sunflowers. I think that's going to, one of them is going to be the blood sucker of all the money. So this is all we have today. Just remember, even if you're doing $1 at a time, one coin at a time, it's okay. Do what you can with what you got, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.